Bottoms is a the second film from uh, upcoming director Emma Siegelman. I think that's how you say her name. She uh, directed Shiva Baby back in 2021. I want to. I think it was 2021. I'm pretty sure that's when it was widely released. Uh, I remember reviewing that movie. Um, it very narrowly coming close to cracking my. Uh, I think it was top 10 favorites of that year. So yeah, I really loved Shiva Baby. It's only grown on me since uh, it came out. And I was so, so excited for Bottoms. Uh, I've been, I guess, following this movie since early, very earlier this year. I heard about uh, it coming out while I was like scrolling through a list of uh, like 2023 upcoming releases, like speculated stuff. And this was on there and like very uh, a lot heavily advertised a lot of people really wanted to watch this uh, really wanted to see this movie and as the weeks kept going by uh, i was wondering when it would be released in my area and finally it got released around me this week so uh yeah let's talk about bottoms this this is an interesting movie to uh say the least and i i'm, I'm not criticizing it because i'm gonna come out here and say it. this is easily one of my favorite movies of the year, and I think one of the best teen comedies that we have gotten in a very, very, very long time. Uh, I think Emma Siegelman really pushed the boundaries of what she could do as a director in her second film. I think she has so much more of a clear voice and a, a vision, and given the budget that she actually kind of seemingly wanted to work with, and like just give it more of a sprawling movie now this obviously isn't overly complicated it's not like you know this big opus or anything but uh it, it's very clear that she had a vision and that this is more so what she wants to do in the future if that makes sense uh my few issues i had with shiva baby were mainly like kind of first time director stuff just like little mistakes here and there that kind of held the film for back for me at least from being uh, absolutely perfect. Now with Bottoms, those are all smoothed out. This movie uh, is very airtight, and uh, I think it's all sitting only about around like 93 minutes. It breezes by, and uh, yeah, it is just a, such a unique movie and has such a unique, um, maybe not voice to it, but it has uh, just such a unique flavor and such a unique style to it that I think uh, everybody could get a kick out of this thing. Uh, first off, the performances from... I always forget their names, but uh, the girl who is also in Shiva Baby and the girl that is in The Bear and Theater Camp, who are very, very popular right now. They are two of the probably, like, most sought-after actresses, like, young actresses, up-and-coming ones. Uh, they are in a lot of things currently. And they deserve to be. Uh, they are both fantastic in this movie. I think they play so well off of each other, and you can really buy that they are best friends, and uh, that, that like the, just the kind of like banter they have between each other is really fantastic. And I I, I don't know. I absolutely love uh, both of their performances and how different they 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 are, and how unique each of their characters are, and how they play with other characters. It's just it's very interesting to watch the events that happen in Bottoms unfold there is a surprising amount of depth to uh what's going on here and a lot of emotion and a lot of um i guess not like not a ton of layers in terms of like like a like a complicated story or anything but there's a lot of layers in terms of like friendships and high school and high school like not lasting and and the dramatics of high school are, are played up to like an 11 and i absolutely love that my favorite um, high school movies are ones that, that take the dramatic emotions and the, uh, like, hormones swirling all in high school and turning it up to 11. Stuff like Brick or Mean Girls or anything really satirizing the, uh, high school experience in that way and doing it right are some of my favorite movies to ever exist, and this one, uh, is, fits very comfortably near the top of that list for me. Uh, wow. Um, the visual style is also really creative. There are a lot of really great shots in this film, and I think uh, the bigger budget that was allotted, obviously, to her. Uh, I don't know what... I think it, this is Orion, right? The studio that did this? So 
obviously a much bigger studio backing her. I think, again, her being given the reins to this movie makes it work ten times as much as it would if there was more constraints, like in Shiva Baby. Um, um, the uh, former Seahawks play... I am horrible at names, if you haven't uh, already assessed that, because, wow, I'm blanking on his name as well. Uh, he, the, the former football player who was a Seahawks player, he's like, uh, obviously one of the greatest football players of all time. I forget his name. Uh, he was surprisingly really funny in this movie. Uh, I think, I don't know, he brought like a, like a offbeat sense to the comedy that really, really worked for me. Uh, the girl that played Hazel, uh, she was fantastic. And I think she was like the most level-headed character throughout this entire thing. And uh, everything with, like, the football players is absolutely hilarious, how they're, they're constantly in uniform, and um, especially the big fight sequence at the end, and how violent this movie can be, and how, just again, over-the-top and dramatic it all is, but also having a real heart. And, and speaking to people my age, like, I just freshly graduated high school, um, I am currently in college, I, uh, like, just went through this experience of, of like, a senior year, and the... the, the big emotions that come with that and obviously it doesn't address like a high school ending or anything like that or, uh but it i don't know it very much spoke to me and that is such a rare occurrence uh in terms of filmmaking uh so many teen movies come out every year and are dumped to netflix or prime video or or anything like that that just completely leave my mind after i watch them uh something that came to mind while watching this i remember I think I reviewed this movie, I'm not sure, back in the day, but Moxie, uh, that came out on Netflix two years ago, it, uh, me and Cam both watched it together, and we were just laughing hysterically the entire time, because Amy Poehler, who directed and I think wrote that movie, just completely missed the mark on kind of what Gen Z is, and how we talk to each other, how we converse, how a actual teenager uh, you know, speaks to one another. There's the, it was completely off. With this movie, uh, I wrote my letterbox review, this is like around 90 to 80% of the people I hang out with, they act like this. Obviously not to that level, but uh, most of my friends are, um, can be fit into uh, this movie's uh, overall like aesthetics and uh, attitude. And I think, I don't know, this movie will really go down as one of the defining movies of my generation. I, I that might that might be like putting too much stock into it. I don't know. I really loved Bottoms. It was very much one of my favorite movies of the year. It's a bit too short. If I had to criticize it, I wish I could have gotten a little bit more. I think they kind of um, rush to the third act just a little bit, and things kind of like fall down fall down the stairs a little bit to get to the third act. If that makes any sense. But uh, other than that, I really don't have any other critiques of this movie. It is nearly flawless, and I think with another rewatch, that problem might smooth itself over. Uh, it's easily one of my favorite movies of the year. It's it's up there. It's up there with like Spider Man, the Spider Verse, and Ryan Lane and Barbie. Like this, this, this movie is that good. So please uh, go check out Bottoms. Go support this movie, and I will. Yeah, I'm going to give. Bottoms a really, really strong A. Again, that could creep up to an A+, plus if I see this movie again. Or when I when I do see this movie again, not if. So, uh, yeah, that's all I had to say about it. I really loved this movie, and I hope you guys go check it out. Um, and my next review will, uh, unfortunately, be of a movie that I did not have the same feelings towards. Just to spoil it a little bit. Uh, Strays, that, 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 is, that will be the next review. And... Yeah, uh, I'll be seeing more movies in the upcoming weeks. We've got The Nun 2. We've got um, A Murder in Venice. September, you know, it was starting to kick off, and we got newer releases again. It was kind of a dry spell in August, and especially with, like, the move up to college and, like, uh, not knowing how I'm going to get to a movie theater. All of that is taken care of, so we can just get back to it. Uh, yeah, other than that, I will see you guys in the next review.